When this tiger got released to the wild, everyone was left in complete shock. Bengal tigers are beautiful, huge, powerful, dangerous, and all around amazing. But they are also some of the rarest animals in the world, with their numbers decreasing year after year. So when explorers found an injured tiger in the jungle, they did all that they could to assist it and prevent it from dying. But it's what happened when they were returning it back to its natural habitat that left everyone as shocked as they were amazed. Elliot and Michael had been best friends since before either of them could remember. They had grown up living on the same street and attended the same school and even the same colleges. They had always been in contact, and over the course of their lives, they had discovered they had a shared passion, a love for exploring and adventure. Exploration was their passion, and they often made trips to far-flung places to go on adventures and discover new and exciting things. They had been around the world in pursuit of their exciting hobby, from the Great Wall of China to the Arctic Circle to deepest, darkest Peru. The friends had seen, heard, and done all kinds of things, things that other people could only dream of. Their latest adventure had brought them to the jungles of Bengal that sat on a tropical coastline. There were a range of noises emitting from the trees, hissing, growling, swishing, squawking, and even roaring. If Michael and Elliot were to enter the jungle alone, they would have to remain vigilant. Things could get dangerous fast, but that's what they found so exhilarating about such a hobby. With the threat of danger never being too far away, it kept them on their toes and made them feel alive and excited. It certainly wasn't a hobby for everyone, but for Elliot and Michael, exploring the big, wide, wild world was what gave their lives meaning. But what they were soon about to encounter was something shocking and exciting, something they would remember for the rest of their lives. After having planned their route, the two friends set off into the jungle. The trees and brush were thick, and making progress was slow and difficult especially when they were both carrying huge backpacks containing supplies and tents. They trekked all day, seeing all kinds of beautiful creatures that lived in the forest. As night started to fall, they found a relatively clear area and set up camp. It was a well-timed stop, too, as before long the heavy monsoon rains had rolled in and Elliot and Michael had retreated to their individual tents, where they fell into a surprisingly deep sleep. But what was awaiting them outside their tents when they awoke would absolutely blow them away. Morning came, and the two friends were awakened to the deafening sound of the birds in the forest. Unzipping his tent, Michael stepped out and jumped in shock at what was lying on the ground only several feet from his tent. A giant tiger. It just looked at him before turning its huge head and licking its hind leg. That's when Michael noticed something was wrong. A bone was protruding through the tiger's flesh. It had clearly damaged its leg and was unable to walk on it. Not wanting to startle the giant tiger, Michael tapped on Elliot's tent. He emerged and nearly let out a scream of panic, but he too quickly noticed the poor tiger's broken leg. They were deep into the jungle, and the chances of getting the tiger to somehow follow them to safety were pretty much zero, so they had to make a plan. After all, they couldn't let this poor majestic creature suffer and die. Luckily, Elliot was carrying a satellite phone, and before they left on their trek, they had gotten the numbers of the local Bengal authorities in case there was an emergency. This seemed like a pretty big emergency. Quickly grabbing the phone, he made the call and explained the situation. The authorities said to go back into their tents for their own safety, and that they would locate them using GPS, and they would helicopter a vet in to take a look at the tiger. But could the vet do anything? Would the tiger survive, or would it have to be put down for its own good? It remained to be seen. After several hours of waiting, the helicopter eventually arrived. The tiger didn't even seem scared by the noise or sight of the craft landing or the vet cautiously approaching. It was too weak and weary to do anything more than let out a whine. The vet examined the tiger's leg before tranquilizing him and loading him into a sling to be transported back for surgery. Michael and Elliot were both invested in the safety of the tiger and asked to come along, which the vet agreed to. Finally, arriving back at the hospital, the vet started to operate. It would be a tricky task fixing a leg that was so badly broken, and even if he could do it, recovery would take a long time. But he believed in the conservation of these tigers, so he and his team spent several long hours fixing the bone and patching the tiger up. It was a challenging job, but if it helped save a tiger's life, then it was all worth it. With surgery over, the tiger was brought around. Confused and disoriented, the beast was angry roaring and baring its huge teeth. He was left in a small cage where the vet could keep an eye on him and his progress. Luckily, though, the operation was a complete success, 
and the tiger was fighting fit. He couldn't yet be released, though. He needed rehabilitation, and to do that, they released him into a large, fenced compound not far from the hospital. Over the next three weeks, Michael and Elliot would visit the tiger, watching it through the fence and seeing it get stronger every day. Progress was steady, but the tiger had soon regained his former strength. Eventually, the day came when the vet deemed him fully healed, and preparations were made to bring him back to the jungle. The best way to do it was to take him via boat, release him onto the beach, and let him make his own way into the jungle in his own time. So, after cautiously ushering the tiger into a cage with an easily openable door, they set off on their short boat journey through the beach and the jungle. And of course, Elliot and Michael came along. This was all part of their grand adventure, and besides, they were truly invested in the story of this tiger now. But what happened next was something that absolutely nobody could have predicted, and something that left them shaken. As the boat approached the jungle, the tiger seemed alert and more active than ever. He was roaring and growling, testing the bars of the cage he was in. Clearly, he longed for his freedom. The vet and the two friends sat nearby to the crate, when all of a sudden, they heard a crack and a snap, and the gate to the cage swung open. The tiger was loose. He had snapped the lock, and it had fallen off. The giant animal took several steps out of its cage as the occupants of the boat, including the vet and the two friends, scurried to try to find safety. If he was still in a bad mood, he could have easily killed everyone on board. But luckily, the massive and fierce animal wasn't interested in them. The tiger literally leapt from the boat, impressively soaring through the air before splashing down in the warm sea. Elliot, Michael, the vet, and everyone else on board the vessel gasped in amazement at such a special sight. The tiger began swimming toward the distant island, powering along at a very fast pace. The boat followed at a respectful distance before coming to a stop as the tiger approached the shore. It waded out of the water and turned around, glaring at the boat that it had leapt from only moments before. Looking through binoculars, the vet noted that the tiger's leg seemed in fantastic shape and he felt that the tiger would not only survive but thrive now that he was back in his natural habitat. The tiger shook itself dry before letting out a mighty roar sending shivers down both Elliot's and Michael's spines. It was almost as if the animal was giving them one final thank you before turning and disappearing from the beach and into the trees. The tiger's roar bellowed over the water loud and clear. The two friends had seen and done so many different things in this world, but never had they seen and experienced something quite like this. What did you think of this amazing story? How did you feel about the incredible and majestic Bengal tiger? And have you ever seen a tiger in the wild before? We'd love to hear from you, so be sure to let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more great stories like this.